Yes, welcome to lecture facts. In the previous lecture, uh, it was discussed the GT uh, great turn of thyristor control series capacitor. Now, for today's topic, uh, it is a thyristor switched series capacitor. So, by name itself, it is quite clear that uh, thyristor is used for uh, switching on the capacitor. When we are using uh, the thyristor as a switched device, switching device, definitely uh, the capacitive reactance or the voltage across capacitor will not be in a smooth manner, whereas uh, it is uh, in a step-like switching manners. So for that purpose, this is the some basic diagram. This basic diagram says this is the line this is the line, transmission line, and the current in the transmission line is I. There are number of capacitors are connected as per the requirement of degree of compensation K. We know the degree of compensation, degree of compensation, series compensation, K is equal to Xc upon transmission line reactance X. So as long as we are increasing the value of Xc, that is the capacitive reactance, the K is going to increase from 0 0.2, 0 0.1, or 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and so on. Now here, the number of capacitors C1, C2, C3, up to the Cn, it may be a Cn, or n number of capacitors are connected in series. And it is shunted by a parallel switch. It's a anti-parallel connected uh, thyristors are there. So this is one switch is there. Say for example, this is second switch, third switch, and up to n number of switch. So if uh, this switch is open, when the switch is open, voltage across capacitor is going to appear. If this switch is open, the voltage across capacitor is going to appear, and so on. So if we want higher degree of compensation, all the switch say uh, four switches are there, all the four switches are kept open, then the total compensation K, degree of compensation K, let uh, each having equal value of the capacitor. So it is four X C upon X will be the degree of compensation. Now, if the degree of compensation is now uh, it is want to reduce it, then it will be a K is equal to 3XC upon X when one of the capacitor is uh, bypassed by switching on or turn on uh, the thyristor. So once this uh, one switch is turned on, the voltage across capacitor goes to zero. It means that the current diverted from the switch and bypass the capacitor. When the current uh, bypass from the thyristor switch, the voltage across capacitor goes to the zero value, which we have already discussed in detail. So no need to discuss again how the uh, parallel uh, series compensation is obtained with the help of uh, gate turn off uh, thyristor control and here, it is a thyristor switch series capacitor. The difference in uh, uh, thyristor uh, gate turn off thyristor switch is that in gate turn off, uh, it is possible to obtain the voltage variation in a smooth manner. Just we have seen in the previous lecture, say this is the voltage. Here, the voltage by using turn of delay angle by using turn of delay angle gamma, it is possible to reduce the voltage across capacitor. Here, it is gamma 1, it is gamma 2, which is greater than the gamma 1, the voltage across capacitor is reduces and so on. So by delaying the turn off angle, by delay turn off angle, it is possible to obtain the variable voltage across capacitor. But here, it is not possible. Here we are using thyristor as a switch. So when the, say for example, T1 is on, turn on, 
entire current is going to flow from the thyristor switch and voltage across capacitor becomes zero. And when the switch, total switch is off, or is the off condition, open condition, the voltage across capacitor will be a rated one. Let we will draw uh, one waveform. And from this waveform, it is clear the operation of TSSC, isn't it? So again, we will take the current transmission line current. This is the transmission line current I. Say this is uh, pi. This is twice pi and so on, isn't it? This is the omega t and this current is I. Let, uh, as we know that this is the natural turn of device. When the current goes to the zero value, uh, the SCR turn off automatically. And once we give the trigger pulse to the thyristor, uh, it is start conducting and it lose the uh, gate control. It will remain on or it remain uh, conducting till the current goes to the zero value. So at uh, natural commutation, we can obtain here the natural commutation. Let uh, during this uh, one positive half cycle, uh, the voltage across capacitor is zero. Say this is voltage across capacitor, Vc is equal to zero for this diagram. Okay. Now during this one, in the positive half cycle, we consider or say T1, thyristor 1 is, is on. This is on condition. Thyristor 1 is on. So the current is going to divert from the thyristor and voltage across capacitor will be zero. So no current is going to flow from the capacitor. Entire current, it is complete switch on as a conducting. So this is the voltage across capacitor is zero. No, there is no turn on delay or turn off delay is there. Uh, now at this point, uh, we make the voltage, we make the uh, say total switch is off. Total switch means uh, T1 and T2 both are off condition. So here, so when this is off, this is also turn off, this is also turn off, the voltage across capacitor start increasing. So voltage across capacitor is a start increasing. And now it is decreasing or discharge over here. Again, the voltage across capacitor start increasing. and it is decreasing and so on. So this is, yes, so on. So but we can say that this is up to this circuit. This is your on, T1 is on. After this, the total switch, this entire switch, SW is off. This is off. So we can obtain, uh, the voltage, but we obtained the voltage. Here the current is alternating, the current is alternating, whereas the voltage is on the negative side. So we can say that it is in the somewhat DC or more DC offset value is there. Now same, if uh, we use the If you start it from the positive half cycle, it's a negative half cycle now. In negative half cycle, say this is Let again, this is the current I during 
uh, first negative half cycle, the switch is T2. Now here, T2 is on. Let it by the red color. So this is, during this time, the voltage across capacitor, this is VC, okay? This is VC, this is VC. Let the voltage across capacitor is zero. Why it is zero? Because in negative half cycle, T2 is on. So up to this one, thyristor T2 is on. And now T2 is get commuted. So turn off at the natural commutation. Whereas we are not issuing any type of uh, trigger pulse to the T1. So T1 also remain on. So it means that once this T2 is off condition, uh, no gate pulse is going to issue to the T1. So the voltage across capacitor is rise voltage across capacitor is rise because the current is going to flow from the capacitor and we get the same voltage waveform in the positive direction. This is VC. So by looking these two figures, we say that the voltage is having large DC offset values and it is not a unidirectional. Uh, it is a unidirectional, whereas the current is a sinusoidal. Now, if we make the T1 and T2 combination with on and off, what would be the waveform? Say third uh, waveform which we consider. T. This is the value of current I. Okay, this is the current I over this one. Now, let during this one uh, T2 is off. Similar case, T2 is off. So, up to this one, T2 is on. Sorry, not on, it is, it is on. So, when the T2 is on, the current is going to flow from this uh, T2 and the voltage across capacitor will be zero. Now, when T2 is off, there is no gate pulse is issued to the T1. So T1 also off and voltage is going to appear across the capacitor. So it will give the voltage across capacitor. And during this time, the switch, total switch is off. Switch is off. Is off. Okay. Now let, in at this point, there is a natural commutation. Okay. So now uh, we will make the, we will issue one gate pulse to the T1. Once we issue the gate pulse to the T1, the current is going to flow through the thyristor one and voltage across capacitor become zero. So voltage across capacitor is become zero. Now during this time, T1 is on. T1 is on. So uh, it is start conducting and at natural zero means due to the natural commutation, uh, it is get commuted. Now the voltage start appearing since the total switch is off. So voltage is start appearing and it reaches to the maximum. It's whatever the net value and here. So here again up to this one, the switch, entire switch, I'm telling the switch is the anti-parallel connected thyristors are there. So this switch is again off. 
so voltage is given to up here okay now say we will uh, again extend this current again extend this current so that we can understand very well So let at this point uh, T2 is make on similar to this one. So T2 make on means we will issue the gate pulse. Once we issue the gate pulse, we lose the control over the gate pulse still up to its natural commutation. So up to this one, T2 is on. And once the natural commutation is there, the entire switch is off and it will appear the voltage across capacitor in this way. So again, the entire switch SW is equal to off. So this is the voltage waveform. This is voltage VC. Okay, here it is voltage VC and so on. This is voltage VC is there. So when if you observe this voltage waveform, what is the, uh, say, frequency of this voltage waveform? It is double, more than double, say here, up to from this one to this point, the current complete one cycle, current completes one cycle, whereas the voltage waveform is going to complete at this point. So this is the voltage cycle. This is the voltage cycle. So here we can say that the compensation is quite slow as compared to the GCSC. In GCSC, see in this case GCSC, the uh, voltage may be decreased, the magnitude of voltage across the capacitor may be decreased by delaying the turn off delay angle by turn off delay angle gamma, whereas the frequency of voltage and frequency of current is same. So it is fast in operation, whereas it is very slow in operation. And at the same time, it will introduce the harmonic in the system. But the question arises, can we switch on the capacitor over here? Means can we switch on the thyristor over here? No, because in the previous discussion, we found that if you switch the capacitor other than that values, it will produce the transient in the circuit. So it is necessary to turn on uh, the thyristor uh, at this, only at this points when the current is, is equal to zero value. Otherwise, it produces the transient in the circuit. So this is one thing is there. Now, uh, we want to see uh, what is the VI characteristic. Okay, so if there are four number of uh, capacitors are there or four steps are there, we can say that the total reactance XC is equal to 4XC, isn't it? Say total, instead of total, we write the total maximum reactance. Xc is equal to, sorry, Xc maximum is equal to 4Xc, isn't it? Let the number of uh, steps are 4 uh, and uh, each capacitor having same value, isn't it? Um, we want the voltage across should be a maximum. It should not increase the from minimum current to its maximum current. So at minimum current, at current is minimum, we want the voltage across capacitor should be a maximum. And as the current increases, what will happen? Definitely the voltage across capacitor increases beyond its maximum value. But we want to limit the voltage across capacitor should be a maximum. So even at maximum current, 
the voltage across total voltage across the capacitor should be a maximum. So under voltage compensation mode, under voltage compensation mode, voltage compensation mode this is the current i this is vc we want the voltage should be maximum at all value of current okay so let this is the minimum current at which the current at which the voltage is maximum so this is the current is minimum now here what would be the value of reactance it is the 4x it is 4xc as soon as the current increases more than the minimum value, one of the, as the current increases more than the minimum value, select the capacitor C1 is bypassed by switching on the thyristors. Once we turn on the thyristor, the current is going to flow from the thyristor and voltage across capacitor becomes zero. It means that the capacitor C1 will be absent. Only capacitor C2, C3, C4 will be there. So remaining three capacitor will be there. As soon as the current increases, let the current will be here. And during this time, the capacitor, total capacitor will be 3xc. So under such condition, this is the 3xc. Similarly, once again, the current increases, the reactance which will remain is 2xc. And this is the, and at the last, when the current is maximum, only one reactance or one capacitor is connected in series with the transmission. So this is the, VI characteristic and this is somewhat a controllable region. But this controllable region is a step-like manner. So here it is not a smooth control, whereas it is in the step control. So this is the VI characteristic of uh, uh, <coughs> thyristor control. Thyristor switch capacitor, thyristor switch series capacitor. Now, what would be the losses under uh, voltage com compensation? This is percentage loss and this is current. Okay. Similarly, this is the minimum current and this is maximum current. This is I minimum. This is I maximum. Okay. When voltage across capacitor will be maximum. Here is the maximum. All the capacitors, all the capacitors comes into the circuit. C1. C2, C3, C4, isn't it? It means that the current is going to, suppose the uh, current is going to flow from the, let first we will consider that all are in the off conditions. Means voltage across capacitor will be maximum. Means entire 
capacitors comes into the circuit. Okay, VC1, VC2, VC3s are there. VC1, VC2, VC3s are there. So under such condition, when the current flow from the capacitor, the losses will be very small. So here the losses will be very small up to this one. Okay, the losses is very small. Let the current increases beyond the minimum value of current. One of the capacitor is get bypassed. When the cap current is bypassed, current is going to flow from the uh, thyristor and some losses are going to input. So here the losses could get increases up to this one till to the next step, till to the next step. Let the current increase again from this I minimum to I minimum one or I one dash, I double dash and so on. So at this position, I one dash is there, I dash is there. So this also get bypass and current is going to flow only from capacitor C2, C3 and C4. So here again, the losses get increased. When the current flow through the capacitor, the losses will be very small, isn't it? So here, four capacitors comes into the circuit. It is 4XC. Here, it is 3XC and so on. So this is the case. And this is one. Okay. So here, the losses get increases up to this one. And when the... Uh, Voltage is zero, means VC1 is equal to zero, VC2 is equal to zero, VC3 is equal to zero, and VC4 will be there. It means that entire current is going to flow from the thyristor and current uh, voltage across capacitor will be zero. And under such condition, the losses will be high. So here, the losses is represented by this. this when the VC is equal to zero, entire capacitor voltage is equal to zero. So this is the representation of losses in the stepwise manner. This is one, this is two, and this is three. Okay, so this is the voltage compensation. Now, impedance compensation. impedance compensation. So in impedance compensation, the VC maximum or the reactance XC maximum is equal to VC maximum divided by the current maximum, isn't it? And when it is going to appear, VC maximum is going to appear when VC1 plus VC2 plus VC3 is in the voltage across the capacitor will be there, means all the switches are open and current is going to flow entire capacitors. So under such condition, the VI characteristic or VI area, operation of area. So this is maximum reactance XC, XC maximum. Under such condition, the voltage across entire capacitor is maximum and here the current is maximum. And as uh, one by one, the thyristor divert the volt capacitor. So here it will be 3XC, here 2XC, and here, one reactance or one capacitor is there. This X is there. Okay. So this is again in a step-like manner. So either the series compensation may be obtained by voltage compensation mode or by the uh, impedance compensation mode. So in the next lecture, we will see the thyristor control series compensation. Thank you.